Pixels. I rented this movie by myself recently, as my siblings all saw it before I did. Those sneaky little... Anyway, um, I, I guess this is another one of those Give Geeks a Chance type movies, and for its being that, it's fun. It's not amazingly unique, um, or uniquely enjoyable, but eh, pretty good. Uh, the characters are okay. Um, I guess the two main ones are funny. Uh, I, I like Adam Sandler in these kind of movies. Um, he does well in these uh, plots that... You, you know, they, they play their story seriously, but you're not really taking it that seriously watching them. I like when he does that. Uh, the other ones are fine. The, the one they call the Wonder Kid, who uh, I thought was going to be set up as this amazing gamer, really wasn't. In fact, he was kind of the lamest of the main characters. At least I thought. The premise of the story is that these geeky kids take part in this arcade game championship back in 1982 at games like Pac-Man, Centipede, and Donkey Kong. And the tournament is recorded and the tape sent into space with a satellite. That's really weird. Um, as far as I know, the only messages we've sent uh, into space with the satellites, uh, e even as of nowadays, um, are very few simple pictures and mathematical messages. Um, that, that's not counting this idea that, uh, you know, broadcastings, um, like television shows, and, and um, tra travel out into space and can be picked up by aliens. Uh, that's actually not true. Um, I believe within a light year or two, they, they become just noise. Uh, radio messages which travel at the speed of light, those can be sent out, and, and, and that's what SETI does, um, the search for extraterrestrial life, but uh, that's, that's not what this movie is touching on. So then, something like 20 or 30 years later, I don't remember exactly, aliens who received the tape think it's a declaration of war and they send warriors down to conquer Earth in the forms of video games uh, that they challenge the Earthlings to, and uh, of course everyone but, but the geeks uh, of the world have no idea how to handle them. And so the geeks from the beginning of the movie, now as adults, are called back to play the games and defeat the aliens. It's an interesting idea, I, I admit, but what they do with it isn't all that creative. Uh, it's pretty much just playing the games. I like a little bit of what they do. Uh, I think my favorite game that the aliens play is the centipede. The way they create that one visually is enjoyably creepy. The Pac-Man battle is fun, too. And in the end, uh, fun is used kind of loosely, really the only word I can think of. This is one of those movies that you just rent to watch with your friends or your kids with a big bowl of popcorn. I can't much recommend it for any other purpose. Rent it and watch it once. Don't bother buying it. But that one time of watching it will be one more fun night.